What's the Chow Chin Chow's Juice PH Games here and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. In the last episode we made it right here to Lavender Town and plus we explored Route 8 as well. We also went for the Rock Tunnel and in today's episode we are going to be heading on further past Lavender Town onto Route 8. 12. Now, if you remember in the last episode, we attempted to get a Pokemon here and we failed miserably because I'm awful at catching Pokemon, it seems. But anyway, let's have a look at the team rather quickly. Beck is level 64. She is a naughty nature and she has the moves Calm Mind, Psychic, Will O Wisp, and Magical Leaf. Of course, we have Wildfire level 66 with Lava Plume, Earth Power, Flamethrower, and Eruption. We have Dex, also level 66, with Surf, Hypnosis, Dragon Breath, and Light Screen. We have Excoon the Tyranitar, level 65, with Outrage, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Crunch. We have Slim Shady, level 66, with Dragon Breath, Leaf Storm, Leaf Blade, and Leech Seed. And we have Rob, our fridge, level 66. Holding a magnet, and of course, he knows the moves Discharge, Blizzard, Ominous Wind, and Uproar. So, we've got an interesting team here. Now, if I do call for anything during this episode, it's because I do have a slight bit of a cold, and it's come, it comes and goes, so I just want to warn you about that, guys, before you, before you hear anything. I'm starting to get a cold. I hate getting colds around this time of year. I always seem to do it, and it's just so very, very annoying. Okay, so we have a, a Natu here, and that's kind of scary. So I'm going to switch into someone who can deal with it. Go, Rob! Yeah, I'm pretty sure Rob can deal with this. Future Sight, that's kind of scary. I mean, you're not going to live this turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me, but like, it'll matter to me in about three turns. Unless this battle is less than three turns, and it won't matter. But we will honestly see. Die, Natu! Level 67? Oh, so close. And a knocked out. Okay, I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay in and get level 67. So, how are you all doing, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. You know, I, I, the last time I got a cold, it just, it just like, literally stopped me recording for about a week. But this moment in time, I'm not that bad. I feel like I'm going to probably wake up tomorrow morning feeling like I actually can't get out of bed. But at this moment in time, I'm fine, I can record, and I'm pretty happy with that level 67 for Rob. Nice work, Rob. One thing I will tell you though, guys, I'm, I'm actually going to ask this as a question of the day. When we get to the end of this series, now, I know I'm talking like a long time away, because I've actually done the math off screen, and I've actually looked at how long this series could be if we win. Question of the day for today's episode is, of course, when this series finishes, would you like me to do a death montage? Death montages are things that people, some people do, some other YouTubers do when they do, when they end Nuzlocks and challenges like this. I want to know, guys, if you'd like to see me do a death montage for this series. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see that or not. That's what today's question of the day will be. I'm a little worried about this fight here. I think if we get rid of the Magmortar, I might not be that worried. So I'm going to try and get rid of this Magmortar. Earth Power, go. Yeah, once this Magmortar's out of the way, I probably should be a bit less worried. I mean, we haven't had that many deaths, but... You know, the deaths we've had are quite interesting, and I would love to actually do a death montage for the entire series. Because this series has been amazing, and that's had a lot of fun. As far as I've worked out, guys, we are going to, if we do this series, and if, of course, we do win, we could be looking at 65 episodes, which is kind of scary when you think about it, but it's still kind of a fun adventure. You know, this was episode 48, we're going to be trying to aim to get towards Future City in today's episode, but if, if we can't, we might need the next episode as well. So, we'll honestly see. And this Sunflower is not a... You know, Sunflowers are not hard to take down. Level 67 for Wildfire. Not bad. That needs some serious grinding to catch up to the rest of the team. I mean, we're all in leveled, but like... You know. Working on a range here. Ooh, can we get the Super Rod? Oh, right. The Super Rod's in black form. Hey, Joe! It's nice to see you found my secret retreat. I used to live like 
I used to like living on the depths of the edge of the valley. I've grown up quite used to the seaside in the recent years. Regardless, I'd like to give you a gift. With some Pokemon. Hmm. I give to trainers starting the Kanto region. But first, I'd like you to show me the Kanto starter of your own. Okay, so yeah, if we show if we show Mr. Oak here, if we show Professor Oak a Kanto starter, any of the three Kanto starters, he'll give us the other two Kanto starters. Now there are other adventures in this game that actually allow you to do that as well. For example, uh, Steven's at Silphco and he will give if you show him a Hoenn starter, he'll give you the other two Hoenn starters. I'm going to leave all these battles here because I don't really need to grind right now. But also, and I believe you can run into Professor Elm somewhere else as well. And if you show him a Jodo starter, he'll give you the other two Jodo starters as well. So that's honestly pretty cool. That's a pretty cool idea to do. So I might actually do that off screen or something like that. But that's more encounters, which means more of your eggs get hatched. But then again, I've got an, almost an entire box of reserved Pokemon at this moment in time. But we haven't had that many deaths. So I'm not that worried about the whole... Death thing, but we'll honestly see. Wow, this Hippowdon's gonna be a damn hard to kill thing. Um, magical Leaf? Come on, Beck, you can do this. I know it's not Stab, but it's pretty powerful, and you're pretty powerful as well. Come on, Beck, you can do this. Come on. Ooh, going to about halfway. Please, no crunch. Oh, we crunch. Beck, live. Biv, live, 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 live. Oh. Okay, okay, we're okay, we're okay. And I outspeed, but... You know what? I outspeed. I was going to switch out, but I outspeed. And I can kill you, so I'm not worried. But Hippowdon's are scary as hell. Okay. I kind of need Beck for the next gym. Because we are going to be going up the fu against the future gym in the next few episodes. And Beck is going to be one of my aces in the hall hole for that at gym. So I'm really happy that Beck didn't die there. I need to heal. Where's my potions? One thing I am considering for this, uh, for the rest of this series is to include into including a healing limit of only like six items per battle. But the fact is I don't think I'll actually include it for this series. I'll just start a healing limit on the next series. That's what we'll do. We'll start a healing limit on the next series on the channel because the fact is right now I don't really feel like doing a healing limit but I know that I've done a healing uh, on my uh, live streams my Alpha Sapphire Wonderlock I am doing a healing limit I am doing an actual healing limit of six items per battle it is just a default healing limit for the moment in time because the fact is I don't know what I want to do for a healing limit some people will limit themselves to like three items per battle some people are able to go and do no items no healing at all and I don't think I'm ready for that yet but I know that, like, three items per battle is pretty good. I can handle three items per battle, and that's it works pretty nicely. I'm going to switch. So, yeah, I'm, going, I'm considering three items per battle would probably be where I would like to go to eventually. But to start us off, I'm going to go six items, because six items is pretty good. Oh, dear. <laughs> I keep on forgetting how dangerous Floatzels are. Because that did quite a bit of damage. Come on, die floats all, die floats all, die floats all. Come on. Oh, yes, nice work, Rob. I really wish I still had Thunderbolt for you, but I don't. Or Zap Cannon, some kind of more powerful electric move and Discharge. But Discharge is okay. It's helping us through these battles. It's scary as hell, but I could do some more moves that are less scary than it. So hopefully we can make it to Future City today, and let's see what this girl has. You have one Pokemon, you have a Mask of Rain. Ooh. You know what? I'm not scared of your Mask of Rain. I'm not going to stay in, but I'm not scared of your Mask of Rain because I have Wildfire. Unless you do some kind of water move, which I might be scared of your Mask of Rain then. But um, I don't know what kind of water moves you learn. I don't think you learn anything. No, I really don't think you learn anything, so I should be fine. Come on, Wildfire. Flamethrower. Throw some fire out of your mouth at it. There we go. Nice work. Nice work against that masquerade wildfire. You can do this. 
Destroy! Oh, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't destroy. It's still alive. Who are we coming into? Well, Dex can kill you. I'm pretty sure Dex can handle you. Good for Surf. You know, it's not like you've done anything bad there. In fact, you've helped. Apparently, it's not very effective. But like, I don't care. Nice work, Dex. And good work, Wildfire as well. I need to go and do I need to hit give myself a lemonade too? Does anyone need a lemonade? So I have some lemonades around here. There they are. And Yeah, Rob needs a lemonade. I think Wildfire's okay for the moment, but Rob definitely needed a lemonade. I don't know how You know what? We'll give Wildfire one too. I wonder if we're running it we'll run into you seen on this route, because I'm pretty sure there's an event round here for you seen. So let's go and see him. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight people right now. I just want to get to Fuchsia City. I hope I don't need cuts because I'm pretty sure there's a cut. If I remember the uh, remakes, there's a cut bush here. Which scares me again because I don't want to use cuts. I don't have my cut slave with me. Chlorophyll. Well, the sun ain't up right now, so you're kind of not. That's not going to help you in any way. Aromatherapy? Okay, what the hell does that move do? Because that's not really helping you in any way, shape, or form. There's a soothing aroma around this, around the place. I mean, that's not helped you one bit, Jump Puff. Die. Really? Giga Drain? How much is that damage going to do? No, that's nothing. That's nothing. I can handle that. Die, Jump Puff. Yep. Die, Jump Puff. Hopefully I should be. Able, yeah, hopefully I won't get any more iller than I am right now, and I'll be able to still stream on Sunday. Because I'm recording this on a Friday night as I uh, talk to you guys. Because you'll see, you'll probably see this episode in about a week. But <laughs> for knowing my schedules, I'm never good at upload. I'm never good at upload schedules. That's week soon. There's you seen. Hey, you seen? Joe, not again. This must. I'll be the first. I'll be there first next time. <laughs> Having followed it here, I'm starting to understand what Suicune's after. To be honest, I would like to keep this information to myself, but I want to be honest in front of Suicune. I want to be an honest trainer in front of Suicune, okay? That's why I'm starting to share I'm starting to share this clue with you, okay? It seems that Suicune prefers a hilly, pla a hilly place near water, somewhere north. I don't really exactly know where yet, but I'll be there. Just, just make sure you are there too. Who will find it first? I challenge you. I don't really care, you seen. I don't really care about your love for Suicune. Yeah, I don't really care about the fact that Suicune prefers a hilly place. I don't really care right now because the fact is I just want to get to battles and uh, I don't plan on actually facing any of the legendaries in this game. Because that would make this series like 70 or 85, ep uh, 70 or 75 episodes long because you can get like literally all the legendaries in this game and it's... There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. You can get like literally every legendary in this game. You wouldn't have to like change cartridges or anything, you know, you don't have to go over to Storm Silver, the other version of this game. You can just get all the legendaries from here. And I don't want to touch it because the fact is, I don't really need them. Double Edge. Ooh, that's quite nasty, but you died of recall. Okay, bye bye Togepi. And a Dodrio, okay, I'm switching out on that. I am not staying in on a Dodrio. That's not happening. Go, x -Kun. I need to give you strength in the next battle. I might need to get rid of Rock, rock Slide, which is annoying because I like Rock Slide. It's just that I'm going to need strength. Because I know there's something coming up where I need strength. So I'm going to need to get rid of that. Okay, Try Attack. I don't want to deal with Try Attack because it's a very dangerous move, but I can handle it. Yeah, it does nothing. And I'm fine. I was only worried about the hacks that Tri Attacks Courage is because Tri Attacks can cause Paralyze, Burn, or Freeze, and it's scary as hell. But Stodrio is dead. Yay. Nice work, Ike's Coon. Okie dokie, we beat Birdkeeper Roy. Not bad. 
Do I need to heal? Yeah, I need to heal. I need to get back a lemonade. I need to buy more lemonades. I'm just realizing that now. I need to go and buy more lemonades. Which is annoys me because the fact is the only place to buy lemonade is in the mart in a... Ooh, I don't need to... I don't need to... I don't need cut. Yeah, I don't need cut. Okay, can we get an encounter here? Okay, our encounter for Route 15 is a... Skip Loom, level 52. Okay. Now, Beck, we've talked about this. What are you not going to do? You're not going to kill it. That's what you're not going to do. You're not going to kill it, okay, Beck? So go for the magical leaves and you're not going to kill it. Oh my god, that does not... Me Memento? Since when do you learn Memento? Okay, I don't get any counter here because of the worst look in the world that somehow G uh, Skip Loon decides to learn Memento. And uh, no, Becky, you're not learning Dream Eater. Because I don't have hypnosis on this set, and I don't really want to deal with Dream Eater hypnosis right now. So if that's annoying that you decide to, to uh, ruin our encounter here, Mr. Mr. Skip Loon, with your memento. <laughs> that's got to be one of the most annoying moves in the world, memento. <laughs> Literally, what it does is kills itself in order to seriously drop your special attack and physical attack to, uh, I think it's like minus three stages or something like that. Either way, it's really, really dangerous. It works if you're like in a battle or something like that and you have more than one Pokemon you can set up with that move and you can severely weaken your opponent with that move. But the fact is, it takes a lot to set up. So I wouldn't suggest using Memento. I would not suggest having Memento on a, phys on a Pokemon unless you have some way of setting up and making sure it actually works so you can be the person with all the stat boosts in the world and they're the person with stat the buffs. Okay, a Pelipper coming in. I want to switch. Pelippers are kind of scary, especially if I don't use the right Pokemon. Go, Rob! Pelippers are tanky as hell, and I like Pelipper. It's a really good Pokemon, if you know how to use it right. It's also quad weak to electricity, so bye-bye, Pelipper, hopefully. I wish it's by... Yeah, it is good. Bye-bye, Pelipper. Okay, not bad. Well done, Rob. That's... And a Vesper Quinn. Okay, I know exactly what you to get back into. Wildfire. Go Wildfire. Now, the thing about ja uh, the next gym we're going up to here is going to be Jasmine's gym. Uh, the poison type gym for this game. And uh, Jasmine could be one of the easiest gyms in the world or it could be one of the worst gyms in the world. From what I originally remember of these games. Because I've never played Sacred Gold and Storm Silver before. But I have played Heart Gold and Soul Silver before, and I know that Jasmine is actually one of the easiest gyms to defeat. She's actually kind of underleveled compared to all the other gyms in Kanto. But in this game, you never know. So I'm really worried about this gym. I might even need to grind, but hopefully I don't need to grind at all. I just go in there next episode. Go in there next time we can, and we go and get the gym badge. We'll see. Honestly, I don't know for exactly when that's. Next episode is going to be, probably be going to be when I'm healthy, because I'm only going to record one episode today. I might even, I might record some Stadium later on tonight, or I might even record some Black, but the fact is, for now, I'm not recording any more Sacred Gold. Okay. Do I have an effort can take down a Spinder? That's going to uh, Slim Shady on this. I mean, exactly what can it do to me? News Thrash. Yikes. I did not realize Spinder did that much damage to me. Okay, I'm going to switch into somebody who can take this damage. Go X Kun. Because this is a normal type and it's going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to do that much damage to me. Come on. I'm a little worried about this uh, Spinder now. Which is a weird thing to say because Spinder is not something you should be worried about like ever. It's not a Pokemon to be worried about. Let's go for the Outrage. It's not exactly Dragon type, but it's powerful as hell. So we should be okay. Spinders are a scary Pokemon. But we did it. Not bad. Well done, X-Gun. 
Okay, so Outrage will be in its second turn. Do an easy. Uh, Chippy, I'm sorry. I know you like this Pokemon, but uh, it's going to catch this. And it's might not. It's not going to live it. I'm sorry, Chippy. I know you like this Pokemon. I know it's like your second or third favorite Pokemon in the world. I'm sorry. If you know what I'm talking about there, Chibi Viri is uh, one of my friends who does also does YouTube as well. And we've recently, uh, you know, had a lot of fun. We've recently, you know, met and done some, you know, she's recently checked out my channel over these past few months. And she's a really cool girl. She, you know, go and check out her channel. I'll leave a link to hers in the description or I'll probably like put an annotation in at this moment in time since I'm talking about her. But either way... Her fav her second favorite Pokemon of all time is Volby and Illuminel since shared equally. And they're annoying Pokemon as well. Okie dokie. So we are in Fuchsia City. And exact uh, the problem is we can't heal at this moment in time. Because of the fact that there's a lot of Shelder and Cloister about the place. As you can see, there's a lot of Shelder and Cloister about the place. In fact, Shelder and Cloister have decided to infect the entire Pokemon, uh, the entire city of Fuchsia here. So, it's going to be my job and hopefully Jasmine's and Nurse Joy's job to get rid of all the Shelder and Cloister that's about. So, in this situation, Rob, get to the front of the party. I'm going to need you. So here we go. Venomoth, use Bug Buzz! I swear this is endless. Oh, hi. Uh, say, you wouldn't happen to be Joe, would you? Yes, I would happen to be Joe. I heard about you from the other Kanto gym leaders. But you've picked a great time to arrive. Or bad, depending on where you see it. We need you to get rid of all these uh, these swarm of Cloister and Shelder. I reckon if we defeat all the Cloister around town, the gangs should just pack up and leave. But Nurse Joy and I are otherwise occupied. Hey, there's more inside the Power Park, but... So this is going to take us some while. Say, Joe, could you do us a favour and take out any weird... Uh, take out any of the cloisters hanging around the city, please. Okie dokie. Will you heal me? No. Blast them, Chansey, with your ice beam attack. Oh. oh. Do you want to heal your Pokemon? I'm a bit too busy at this moment in time. Helping out with the Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. Let me heal them right here. Okay, you still heal us. Cool. I was a little worried you weren't going to heal us. Okay, so it's going to be our job to get rid of all these Shelder and Cloyster. So let's challenge all these Shelder and Cloyster. So, Cloyster, level 55. And we could catch this if we wanted to. It is technically a new encounter. So... I'm gonna go for the uproar because I want to. I don't want to kill you. I actually want to actually, you know, catch you in a pokeball. You know, stop using protect now, please. Unless you try and use explosion, I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried you trying to use explosion now. Oh, I keep on forgetting how powerful Rob is. No encounter for future city. Okay, so the cloister's the shelter left. After the cloister was defeated, for some of the shelter left, and we saved this person. Thank you for saving me from the Pokemon, I, but I was so frightened, and I couldn't stop moving like this. I can't stop moving like this. Wow, she's scared as hell. Can I challenge you? Okay, so we're going to face this cloister now. Okay, so we're going to have some. We're going to be facing quite a few cloisters in this match. In this town, there's quite a few cloisters about the place, but we can handle them all. Discharge! Really? Okay, you're going to be annoying. I'm going to keep on using discharge until you die, so cloister, just die already, please. You know, you're not that powerful. You're defensive as hell, but like you're not that powerful. In fact, I do run a cloister. 
on my uh, on my teams and Wi-Fi battling, I do run a cloister. It's called Shell Power, and it's amazing. Because I've actually got a skill link set that actually works really nicely. You don't actually have to challenge any of the shelter about the place. Just challenge the cloisters and you're fine. In fact, there's one cloister you should actually challenge. Because it's actually a really cool cloister. Does there any more cloisters about the actual uh, future city? No, I think that's just shelter about. I guess there's like only one more cloister to face. Okay, let's go and do that then. Because if we go to the Pokemon Center here, there's a cloister. There's a cloister in here too. Hey, Nurse Joy, you fancy healing up my Pokemon? No, that's a cloister. You want to heal your Pokemon, do you? Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, that's not Nurse Joy. That's a cloister. <laughs> that's a cloister. It's a shiny cloister as well. Now, this is, does not count as Shiny Claws, by the way, guys, because the fact is, this cloister will always be shiny. It is hacked into the hack like this. This is actually additional content made by Dreyanu for this game, because there is no actual... That, there is really not that much storyline in Kanta. So it's actually really cool he made this storyline for uh, Future City here, but really, you know, there's no point in actually counting that as Shiny Claws, because the fact is, it's a given Pokemon. The not-so-lazy Pokemon fled... But after the cloister was defeated. Okay. Yawn. Why is there a slowpoke here? Okay, so uh, Nurse Joy has not arrived back at her station yet. And we've killed all the cloister we killed all the cloisters about the place. Okay, Venomoth, pump it up with some action of silver wind! You know, Silverwind wouldn't do that much damage to Shieldo and Cloyster, by the way. It's a bug-type move, and it's not that effective against them. Phew. That should do it. I wonder if we've hand... If we've... If I handled it like Dad would have chosen to. Anyway, Joe, I really appreciate the help you gave us for sorting this out. This whole situation out. It would be my honour to uh, battle you for the Soul Badge. Of course, you don't actually act... We have to do it right now, technically. Anyways, I'll be back at the gym. Don't take too long, okay? And Future City has returned to normal. So that is the whole Future City event. That's pretty cool. We're gonna I'm gonna go and heal up my mons and end the episode here. But there is one question I do want to ask you guys, as well as the answer question of the day. So, let me know in the comment section down below, should we challenge this gym first, or should we head on back up to Celadon and go and get our fourth gym batch? So, should we challenge this gym right here in Future City, or should we go back to, or should we head on up to Celadon? Should we keep on the road, keep on trucking, and go on to Celadon instead? Let me know in the comment section down below, because we will be facing both of these gyms. I just don't know whether you want me to do this in badge order, or whether you want me to just go and get the, the soul badge now. Because either way, there's going to be a gym match in the next episode. It's just that if we go to Celadon, if you choose to take us to Celadon, it's going to be about te it's going to be about now-ish we'll be facing the gym leader. You know, 28 minutes into the episode, because the fact is we got to walk all the way up Cycling Road before we can get our gym match with uh, Celadon gym leader. But if you choose to take your, if you choose for us to take you on the Future City Gym, we'll have a gym match in the first five minutes of the next episode. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, answer today's question of the day, which of course is, would you like us to do a death montage of all the deaths that we've had in this Let's Play at the end of the series when we're done? It's sort of a part. 66 if you will but it like i won't be uh, giving you guys any live commentary it'll just be sped up bits with some music and uh, the occasional clip of me reacting to a death that's happened on screen which will be you know from the actual ha episode where the death happened because you know that's how a death montage works but if you enjoyed today's episode please leave a like comment and subscribe also don't forget to check out my live streams Games on uh, twitch.tv forward slash Joe's PH Games. Every Sunday night we do a Pokemon Alpha Sapphire live Wonderlock, and it'll be amazing to have you along for that. Uh, you can just click the about 
you can just go to my channel page on YouTube and you click the link and it takes you right to my Twitch channel. So, come on out and have some fun. But until next time, I am Joe's PH Games and I am out. See you again.